Russia's military hit Ukrainian cities with its largest drone swarm attack in months on Monday, just a day before Victory Day, a celebration of the Soviet triumph over Nazi Germany in 1945 and the most important day in the Russian calendar under President Vladimir Putin. The drone swarm is the latest in a renewed Russian air campaign launched 10 days ago. This is damage from the strikes done to apartment blocks in Kyiv. A resident, Volodymyr, said his wife and child would have slept right there. According to Mayor Vitaly Klitschko, Russia fired 60 Iranian-made kamikaze drones at targets in Ukraine. 36 targeted the capital, all of which were shot down, he said. Right now we're in the apartment of one of the buildings. Uh, today was one of the massive attacks to our hometown. Five people was uh, taken injuries, uh, two people right now in the hospitals, but nobody is died. It's very important. In Bakhmut, the Ukrainian government says Russian forces appear to be making a final push, hoping to capture it ahead of the May 9th holiday and deliver the only prize for Putin in a costly winter offensive. The battle for the besieged city has been one of the bloodiest of the 14-month war. The medics aboard this makeshift ambulance say they retrieved six wounded soldiers Monday, most of them from Bakhmut. As the wounded are taken from the front lines, Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky further cemented Ukraine's break with its Soviet past. Speaking to the nation on a hill overlooking Kyiv, Zelensky said the old evil had returned, this time waged by a modern Russia. Zelensky said he had submitted a bill to parliament officially making May 8th a day of remembrance and victory, while May 9th, Russia's Victory Day, would become Europe Day.